So for today's project, we're going to be removing rust from this bracket, which holds the air cleaner on my 2.2 liter turbo, which is still hanging from the chain over there. Um, I got this bracket out of the junkyard for nothing, basically, and it's it's just a rusty piece of junk. But uh, with a little luck, we'll be able to use this electrolytic process to de-rust it. So anyway, we have this solution of baking soda and water that I made using baking soda I swiped out of the freezer, and uh, a common ordinary battery charger, and uh, the battery charger's positive lead is connected to a sacrificial steel rod. Um, this is the anode, and the negative lead of the battery charger is connected to the steel part that needs to, to be de-rusted. The thing here is, we just immerse the part to be de-rusted into the solution so that it doesn't touch the positive lead there. And it's pretty much line of sight, so we might have to flip it over and do the other side. Pretty quickly after I dropped the part in and turned the power on, I started seeing bubbles coming up to the surface of the water which I understand some of them are explosive, they're hydrogen gas, so be careful, don't smoke. And uh, I guess this means that the uh, process of removing the rust is underway. Okay, so it's the next day and our little rust removal project has been running overnight. And as you can see, we have got one ugly mess, and I do still see a little bubbling going on. But uh, I think what we'll do is we'll disconnect the power and take a look and find out where we're at. Okay, so the power has been disconnected, and we are now retrieving our steel bracket from the de-rusting electrolytic solution and I'll be darned it looks like we don't have anything really in the way of rust on this anymore the pits you're seeing here are the only thing that remains of the rust after wiping off the part with a rag um, the process can't put steel back onto a part that's been rusted. Whatever's been hit by the rust and destroyed is now gone, but at the very least we have a part that can be cleaned up and, and refinished. Now if this was a body panel of course the pits would be a problem so we'd have some filling to do with some epoxy or some other type of filler uh, before we'd be able to do the repainting. But seeing that this is an engine bracket I'm just going to clean it up with a wire brush and shoot it with a coat of spray paint and call it good. This is the finished product. This is what it looked like after I spent about 10 minutes with a wire brush and a drill motor. As you can see the pitting is very evident where the rust was heaviest but uh, we're down to shiny bare metal. Uh, most of the paint flaked off very easily after it had gone through this process. It was it adhered pretty strongly even uh, with all the rust before and uh, basically for an engine bracket this is this is as good as it gets I uh, will hit it with a little spray paint and bolt her up and we're ready to go that brings us to the end of this episode of Jeff's Science Garage thank you for watching